Webmania. Hello viewers, welcome to Webmania Bootstrap 3 22 tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to control the height and width of Bootstrap forms. Here is the table of classes which are used to control the height and width of the forms. So these are classes and these are their purpose. So we can control the height of forms and width of forms by using Bootstrap Grid classes. Bootstrap Grid classes is used to control the width of forms. And if we want to control the height of forms, we have to use the classes of input LG and input SM as mentioned here. These classes are used to control the height of the form. In other words, we can say that input LG and input SM small classes are used to control the height of input element. So here are the classes form group LG and form group SM. These classes are used to control the height of forms and associated their labels. So let's see some practical examples of this. So this is our editor and here you can see inside a form we have two form groups. First form group close here and the second one is close here. First form group consists of a label and inside a label the caption is email and this name consists of email text box and similar to the second one. The label consists of the caption of password and this is the text box of password. Let's view this in our browser. So this is our browser. I'm using Google Chrome and when we reload this page, here you see we have two form controls. But the problem is that our form is spanning across the 12 columns which is the entire width of Bootstrap Grid. To limit this width, we have to use the Bootstrap Grid classes. So let's go back to our editor and limit the width by using Bootstrap Grid classes. So this is our editor. To limit the width of form controls, I'm going to wrap this form group inside a row class. So I'm creating div with class row. And then I apply Bootstrap grid class on it, which is called LG3, which means that our column is limit on three span columns. So let's cut this and paste it to the here. So here I'm use the class of call LG3, which is grid class. This class is going to limit the width up to three columns. So let's save this and view this in our browser. So here is our browser and when we reload the page, here notice we got our form control is spanning across three columns. So this height is by default, it's a default browser height. So to, so to control the height of form, we have to use the classes of input SM and input LG. So let's go back to our editor and view this. So this is our editor and recently we limit the width of forms by using bootstrap grid classes and now we have to limit the height of forms. For this, I'm going to use the class of input SM and input LG. So this is our input element and inside the input element I'm going to use the class of input sm input large so first I'm going to insert input lg class and secondly I'm going to place input sm class so I'm copying this and let's let's paste it to the other div element, input element. So let's save this and view this in the browser. So here is a browser and when we reload the page, notice the height become large. Here you can see 
you can now notice the height of these form controls. So let's go back to our editor and now decrease the height of these form controls by using input SM class. So simple, we have to replace LG with SM and it become our form smaller. Let's save this and view this in our browser. Here when we reload the page, you can notice our form controls are now smaller. So these are smaller than the default browser height when we use the class of input sm. Now let's see how to control the height of forms associated with their labels. These are labels and these are forms. The first step is to achieve this layout is convert this vertical form layout into a horizontal form layout. So let's go back to our editor to convert this vertical layout into horizontal layout. So this is our editor and to convert this vertical layout into a horizontal form layout, the first step is to remove the grid class here and also the closing div. And the second step is to add the class here which is form horizontal and when we apply this class our next step is to add the class in label which is control label so I will detail I will explain in detail in my previous video tutorials about how to convert vertical form layout into horizontal form layout if you have any confusion and any worry about these forms now you can watch my previous tutorials so here we use class label control and we want this label control to be wide only one unit so i'm going to use lg1 this allow this to span across only one unit and this is our input element and i want this to wide three units four units now Let's save this. Now let's do the similar with the second form group. So here is the label and on our label I'm going to use the class of control label and want this to one unit wide. And this is our input text box. So I want this to wide four units. So let's save this and view this in our browser. So here is our browser and when we reload this, here you can see our vertical form is now converted into horizontal form. We have a label on right side and a text box on the left side on a single line. So the height is default height of the browser. To set this height large, we have to use the class of input edge large and to set this height to small, we have to use the class of input group. SM. So let's do, let's go to our editor back. This is our editor and to set the larger height, I'm going to use in form group LG class and similar to the other form group, it's form group LG class. So let's save this and view in our browser. So here when we reload this, here you see our browser size is now greater, is in larger. So if we want this browser size to be small as the default height, so we have to use the class of input group SM. So let's go back to our editor and apply this. So instead of using form group LG, I'm going to replace it with SM class, small class, similar with this. Let's save this and view in browser. So here when we reload this, notice we got smaller height. So by this, we can control the height and width of form controls. So in our next video tutorial, we will learn about bootstrap input groups. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned. Have a good day.